Yeah, oh, look, yeah, they were fantastic. Um, you know, the leadership group was was terrific, and uh, and the experienced players around the place, and then the young 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 players just got swept up in it. So, um, you know, obviously the curve ball was thrown at us this morning with the with Brad not being able to make the trip, but. You know, we've always been, and since Brad's come to the club, he's always spoken about a player-driven culture and environment, and you know they really, really stood up tonight. Yeah, no, he's feeling a lot better. So obviously after that win, he's feeling a hell of a lot better. But um, yeah, no, apparently he sat up and uh, and watched the game um, from his bed, and uh, yeah, so he's, he's uh, on the improve. No, I didn't. Um, Cameron Joyce, who sat in the box, uh, spoke to him, I think, a couple of times uh, at the breaks um, when I was out on the ground. Um, whether he relayed anything back through Joycey, I'm not too sure. I, I wasn't aware of it at all. In foreign sort of conditions, I guess you don't get um, conditions that cold very often, and, and apparently that dewy, but the, the guys seem to handle it really well right from the start. Yeah, they did. Uh, you know, the guys s really set the game up early, I thought. Um, you know, our pressure uh, was super. Um, you know, right from from the uh, first bounce, and you know, felt that that you know got the tides on the back foot a little bit, and uh, and then uh, you know something that we uh, were disappointed with coming out of the Sydney game last week was just our ability to use our our hands um, around the contest. And I thought that was a real feature tonight. The amount of um, ball that came out, re you know, really in a clean way, um, so that we could take the ball forward. How much inspiration did that game last round serve you tonight? Do you think it revved up the players? Uh, last week's game, you mean? Um, yeah, look, the guys were stung into um, to action a little bit. They were disappointed with uh, with last week's game against Sydney. We felt that we didn't put our best foot forward and um, that we'd gone up there in good shape uh, to really have a, a good crack at Sydney. And as I said, we didn't uh, didn't play the way we would have liked. So. We learnt from it. Uh, we looked at a few aspects of our game that we needed to uh, improve and, and train those during the week, and um, some of those were quite evident tonight. Goldstein was a, a late rule out, I guess you can call it. Um, his yeah. replacement, they pretty happy, obviously, there. Yeah, yeah, very happy. Um, uh, look, Goldie was, Goldie was pretty close, but we just felt that uh, he struggled to get himself up the week before for Sydney. Um, then again this week, hadn't trained you know, for two weeks and we probably uh, thought we'd take the more conservative approach and leave him out of the team. And, and part of the reason for that was that uh, Madge has been in really good form in the VFL um, and really was probably unlucky to go out of the side after he'd come in and played anyway. So we thought the replacement was, uh, had been in good form and deserved an opportunity. What did you like about Madge's game tonight? Yeah, look, I thought, uh, you know, Sean Hampson probably beat him from a pure um, ruck perspective with the hit-outs. But Madge's uh, ability, ability to follow up and pressure, he really is like another midfielder in and around the contest. And you would have seen a few times his ability to close down the opposition um, and put them under pressure, I think is a real feature for such a big man. Is there an opportunity for both to play in the same team or...? One in, one out. Um, oh, that's, a, that's a really good question. Like we played with both of them, obviously against um, Essendon, uh, as a bit of an experiment. Uh, whether you could go with both Goldie and Madge as well as Brownie, um, you know, it's probably still the question to be answered. But um, yeah, we might have to just discuss that one at match committee. Right, a seventy-point win over a team that had won three in a row, looking for four. Was that? the perfect way to respond to last week's performance? Oh, I, th I think it was a, a pretty strong indication that these guys were disappointed with last week. Um, and again, aspects of our game you know, that, that we were disappointed with, they just brought tonight. Uh, to have 90 tackles was super. I thought, I think 33 tackles alone in the third quarter. Um, to uh, you know, move the ball as well as we did, and have 72 inside 50s. Uh, you know, 
it just a, it was, you know, I said to the players afterwards, I just thought it was a really professional clinical performance. Um, you know, your coach goes down, your all Australian ruckman doesn't, you know, doesn't come up, but they're still to be able to go out there and do what they did, you know, as I said, was very professional. Yeah, he's got a badly sprained ankle, so he'll have scans on that tomorrow, back in Melbourne. Yeah, hopefully it's nothing uh, too major. Um, he's just it's uh, he's just come back from an ankle injury, uh, so it's the actually uh, it's the other ankle. Um, so hopefully it's not too bad. Was that the extent of the soreness from tonight's game? That's uh, yeah, that's all the injuries that came from the game. And sorry to press the point, but um, Brad Scott is he still actually in hospital or what's the story? Uh, from my understanding, he's st he's still in hospital, just um, yeah, under observation and just uh, recuperating. Daniel Wells, it must be pretty pleasing for the coaching group to have uh, Daniel bringing some of his magic back and, and getting pretty much close back to his best footy. Yeah, it, it is. Yeah, he um, has just added another dimension to us this year. Um, since coming back from his long layoff last year, he adds a uh, you know real touch of class and pol polish and agility around the contest. Um, to have 30 touches and kick three, you know, three really dynamic goals um, is testament to the, the player that he is. And yeah, as I said, he's just um, just really adds to our, our team. Thanks, guys.